Well, first off, that's I mean that's the type of game that you want to be in at this time of the uh, time of the year uh, when you're putting those situations against a really a quality team that's going to do things and make you really really uncomfortable down the stretch. And um, I, I thought we maintained our composure. Um, there were some moments there where things looked like they were turning their way, and that's kind of what they wanted to do. And um, we weathered the storm multiple times, and so just really really proud of our composure and the way that we competed for 32 minutes. Carl Scheffler makes uh, history tonight with the Steels record. Tell me how special that is, and just what Cole means to you. Yeah, well, I t you talk about effort. You talk about a guy that guards the ball like with just relentlessness for 84, 94 feet, what have you. Um, it all starts on the ball, and, and you know, as a sophomore, that's when we started turning the lead de defensively, where we we're going to take more pride on the defensive end, and that starts with not getting beat. That means let's get after it on the ball. You know, who cares if you get beat? Trust your defense, and it started with him as a sophomore, and so for him to to get that reward for a career thing, it's just one of those things. You don't always get those rewards, but when you can, um, it's a little icing on top, and very proud of him. Given what a great tra team trainer is, talk about how nice it is to bounce back against them, given what a tough game you had against Grandview Christian. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's not like we have an easy stretch right now, and we've been on the road quite a bit, so it's nice to get back home and um, call it an emotional loss, tough loss, whatever, whatever have you. you got to find ways to win. And um, <laughs> Anytime you can beat trainer, a, a traditional good program, at this time of year, it, it's, it is a huge win. And the way that we did it was probably even better. I know you guys are used to this, but another WIC you know, share at least right now. But I mean, these are the things you gotta still cherish, uh, even if you've done it the last couple of years anyway. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's something I, I learned a while ago, you know, the, the, the end goal's out there, but sometimes, you know, it does mean something to you, your, your community, your parents, and to stop a little bit and think, you're like, yeah, that's the end goal, but this is also part of the process, and if you can enjoy that. Um, it's big, and we, we got a good conference, and it's, there's a lot of tradition here, and this year, it's, I mean, it's pretty heavy up top, I think, and a lot of blows have been thrown, and people have been knocked off, and so to get it in a year like this, too, this is probably the first time we've done it with um, the, just the competitive this level top to bottom this year. You're up 11 in the fourth quarter and maybe slowed the pace a little bit. I mean, you want to protect the lead. You want to play smart. Were you worried at all a little bit that you were letting off the gas too much? Um, no, actually. Um, I would say probably normally I'd say, yeah, man, let's keep attacking. Um, we have got to get better in the half court and we've got to get better in situations and, and moments like that. <clears throat> Excuse me where we've got to find ways to execute in the half court, especially on the offensive end. We trust our defense, and we know we can win it on that end. But, you know, down the stretch, you've got to find ways to, to make buckets. And if you can find ways to make easier buckets or get to the free throw line, then you're in control of the game. And uh, we took a big step forward on that. First half of the game, uh, trainers started kind of clawing at you there towards halftime. They cut it to five. What was the message to the boys in the locker room at the half? Well, they hadn't really shot it real well the last uh, couple games against other opponents, and we were prepared for them to shoot 60%. I don't know what they shot, but, you know, they knocked a lot of shots down. We liked the purpose we were playing with, so we wanted to do that. And then when they do mess, we've got to get those boards, get into some transition, and put them on their heels a little bit.